I know you're gonna dig this. <laughs> just tucks inside not where it doesn't really matter where make sure it's not touching on the bottom of the piano but apart from that very straightforward four vocal microphones numbered one here one two three four remember when people sing the closer they sing the better these microphones are so they're far better here than they are here you won't really get much here at all you want to come right up so you're almost touching the golf ball from the fold back we're plugged in at the top we have a volume control that's quite sensitive and if you have it too high you'll get ringing in the speakers um, and you need to make sure there's a little button just here no not that button just here this black button which should be set to line so if it's ever set to mic you'll finally you get feedback pretty well straight away and the power button at the bottom So the piano, we turn just says piano on it, but it says electric piano on the label, and we can plug it into left or right, doesn't matter which. Um, the pedal for the foot goes into damper on the back just here, and the power goes on there. Piano fold back speaker, again it's just power at the, that end, and the, here it says piano fold back, and it goes into the input number one. It's got a volume control there and a volume control here. So apart from that and the on, not much to it. Okay, so this is bass, bass guitar, it's labeled, plugs into the output of the green box. Uh, and the green box says on it that it's for bass and keyboards. Then from our bass guitar, if I'm holding it, I plug that into the bottom of my bass guitar. The other end goes into the input and then in order to get sound onto their amplifier as well we go into the through so now the signal's coming down the green it's going into our system and it's also going through the red wire and that goes into uh, amplifier there. Uh, the drum foldback speaker when you've got it there is a cable label drum foldback it's by itself that needs to be plugged into one of those adapters and goes into line in. The power on the back and then on the front you've got input level and you've got output level. Although that's about it. Those two together should enable you to hear what's going on. This one's violin. Goes in through one of the mustard coloured boxes. So that goes on that end. This goes to your violin. Helen has a pickup, um, or we use one of the condenser microphones for that. Um, and it just goes in. You should see it's on because there will be a red light here. There isn't a red light now, but we will give you a red light before very long. Um, and I usually have the high pass filter 
in because it gets rid of any knocking that someone does by mistake on their instrument. For an electric guitar, there is a cable as for everything else, which is labelled. Normally, our well goes straight into his amplifier, and rather than plug in directly, we put a microphone pretty well pointing directly at the speaker and pick it up that way. Um, that way you get if the valve, the sound of the valves in the amplifier, you pick it up through uh, the uh, microphone too. Okay, so we have to switch on at both ends and at the front we choose the smallest key. It's a 90 degree turn and then it opens and pull the key out. The only thing you have to do in here is to turn on the big white switch at the bottom and then everything flows into action. Uh, if you're using the band, you might want to use one or two of these boxes, but apart from that, rarely do you press anything in there. So at this end, we have to open the cupboard, that's the square key. Goes in, turns 180 degrees. In this cupboard, to turn everything on, there's one button in this corner, and you see it all light up. And then we have the various things for the radio mics and the CD player. And then at the top, we use the key which is half rounded. And then we have to lift and carefully lift off the desk and pop it on its side. Okay, so to turn on, we have to reach along the back here. And right at the bottom edge, there is a push button. There's only one button, so it doesn't matter when you find it, and then everything will come to life. And let's just turn on for a, a basic service. We press basic and log in. And now we that's how it will come up. Sorry, I should press OK here to get rid of that as well. Two services to choose from, either a basic service, which if I press that sets up for a basic service, or a 945 service. And if I press this and Justin comes out a bit, you'll see suddenly everything gets ready for a 945 service. More complicated, but if you're just doing a basic service, if you press it, everything suddenly resets. To turn off, you're going to press the home button here, and then you're going to go, if it's on the home tab, these, these are touch screens, so they're not all, but on the home tab, you can press shut down. Yes, shut it down. And now it's safe to turn off. So I put my hand around the back, find the push button, and then do everything in reverse. So I put the lid on. And then in the cupboard, and turn off. Lock the cupboard. And we're done. And to turn off at this end, we just open up. One button, turns everything off, and then lock up half a turn, and then you can't open it. Right, we've set out all the different microphones we've got. Let me start at this end. These are our dynamic microphones, and we use this one for vocals, and we use this one, can be used for vocals, can also be used for instruments. So we use it on the piano, on the horns, on the electric guitar. They're pretty robust, you'll have seen them on many stages. The thing about dynamic microphones is they don't need any extra voltage to work. You just plug them in and they will work. All the rest of them will need voltage of some sort. So we'll look now at these ones. We've got the lectern mic, the, and these we've got one of these um, AKG, whatever they are, and some two Rhodes ones. They need voltage, phantom power to work, 48 volts, and you need to turn that on from the desk. So the lectern one's very straightforward, there's no, nothing to adjust on it. When it's on, actually, I think you get a red light around the top. And then these ones, if we've got children on the platform, they're good, they're very sensitive, so if the children are a long way away, it doesn't matter, um, they'll pick it up. So you, there's no switch on them, you just plug them in, you make sure you've got phantom power on the mixing desk, and they'll work. Um, similarly with this one, um, pretty similar. Um, sometimes people call it a shotgun mic. I would take issue with that because it depends on what cartridge you've got on the front. But anyway, that's what the people mean. Um, phantom power. Then we've got our radio mics. We've got our old ones. There's nothing to do on them apart from un untwist them and put batteries in. 
two batteries, they both go the same way around. So we'll pop those in. And either they'll come on straight away or there's an on off button and you press and hold. And it goes off. Or we press and hold. And it comes back on again. So they've each got a strip around them with a colour. The colour should come up on the screen as well. Um, and that links to the receiver which also has a colour as well. So there are four different colours and you can either use a handheld blue microphone or not and you can use a lapel blue microphone. Um, those are straightforward again, two batteries, again same way around. Press and hold to turn it on. Again it says blue. So you can't have both of these at the same time, so turn that one off. Um, and you can shut them. At this end they have the microphone and the crocodile clip. Please don't put the crocodile clip on the aerial because once you've started doing that you'll break the rubber on the aerial. So make a little loop like that. There's no pressure on it and you can just hang the microphone on the aerial, nothing's going to get damaged. Only other thing for those is they have a mute button on the top so the clergy can decide if they want to mute themselves or to speak, they just flick the switch. There's nothing you can do from the back of church but if you find you're just not getting any sound it's probable that one of them has just flicked their mute switch um, by mistake or forgotten to turn on. So that's those, press and hold to turn off. pop the batteries back on the chargers um, and then we have four new transmitters they look pretty similar but they're slightly better looking uh, again same thing press and hold to turn on and these are named for each of the clergy so this is Gemma's uh, again it has a mute switch on the top which is just a slide switch um, and then this is one of the headset microphones um, and I've never put one of these on. <coughs> Take your glasses off and they go over your ears and they should come around the front and really anywhere here you don't want to be rubbing on your cheek but anywhere there should be fine um, and then you can forget about them. Now you can change from a headset mic to a lapel mic just by unscrewing and popping one in but the levels will be wrong. You will get feedback if you do that, unless you adjust the sensitivity of the microphone by going into the settings in here. I'm not gonna do that now. So you can change them over, but if you do that, remember you'll have to change the sensitivities on the microphone. And that's what we've got. Started on the sensational, inspirational, celebrational, motivational. This is what.